Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench.com. This video is about how to install Ubuntu Desktop 12.04 LTS and Hyper-V. Microsoft and Ubuntu have really learned to play together since the first time I've ever installed an Ubuntu Desktop in a virtual PC. That took about 40 hours. This just simply click and go. The outcome for this video are create a virtual network for Ubuntu Desktop to connect to, create a virtual machine for Ubuntu Desktop, install Ubuntu Desktop LTS 32-bit, an ISO file into the virtual machine, and update Ubuntu Desktop and verify that the Hyper-V modules are installed. Requirements, Microsoft Hyper-V with administrative permissions, network interface card or NIC, and Ubuntu Desktop 12.04 32-bit ISO file. The first step in installing an Ubuntu desktop in Hyper-V is to have or create an external network for the desktop to connect to. In order to do this, it is necessary to determine what physical network interface cards or NICs are on the host computer. To do this, go to Start, Network, Network and Sharing Center, and change adapter settings. In this case, we've got a number of network connections. Uh, some of them are disabled. We've got a wireless network connection we're not using right now. And right here, local area connection three, which is a virtual, actually a virtual connection. But here we have a NIC, local area connection, Realtek PCI GBE family controller. You simply need to remember this as a name that's attached with this NIC. So once we have that, go ahead and close that. Now that we know what our NIC is to create a virtual network manager or virtual network, we go to virtual network manager and we're going to pick a new virtual network and it's going to be of a type external which creates a virtual network that binds a physical network adapter to the virtual machine so the virtual machine can access a physical network. Click Add, give it a name, and we'll just call it External NIC, Network Interface Card, Net, and we're going to pick, this selects the already external for us, and we only have two choices here. If some of the others were not disabled, we'd have more choices. But we're going to pick the Realtek because that was the actual network interface card. And once that's done, uh, we're going to click OK. And it says pending changes may disrupt network connectivity. Actually, this is uh, what you're viewing is connected through a remote desktop. So this may go in and out, but you don't have to worry about all that stuff. And we're just going to click uh, yes and let it go through it. So uh, here we are. Uh, we've got that. Uh, we've got created that network. And we'll see that we have ICS wire external NIC net. Here we are in Hyper-V Manager, and I'm going to create a new virtual machine to load the Ubuntu operating system into. And to do that, simply click on New and Virtual Machine. And a wizard pops up before you begin. You should know name and location, assign memory, configure networking, connect virtual hard disk, uh, some installation options. In this case, I'm just going to click Next. Uh, let's give it a name. Call it base Ubuntu 01. And I'm going to store in a different location. This is, uh, I always st store a lot of virtual machines in a public location simply because I pass them around. And we're going to go to browse disk users. 
public and public VMs, which is a folder I've created in Hyper-V. And uh, we'll make a new folder called base Ubuntu. Base Ubuntu. And this is where we'll install uh, the virtual machine. Select the folder and click Next. And let's give it memory now because uh, Alto 512 is a minimum, minimum memory for a Ubuntu desktop. I'm going to give this 1024 megabytes or about a gigabyte. Next. And our connection, if you remember, external NIC net. That's our virtual uh, network that we're going to connect to. Next. And we're going to create a virtual hard disk, not use a virtual hard disk. And next. And we're going to install, install an operating system from boot CD ROM. So we're going to go, rather than a physical drive, we're going to pick the image file. And in this case, I've got one here, Ubuntu Desktop 1204 32-bit. And we'll open this. And there's the ISO file that we're going to install Ubuntu from. Click Open. So click Next. And so we've got pretty much everything set. Let's finish. And now we have Base Ubuntu 01. Once we've created our virtual machine to install the operating system into the Ubuntu desktop, we simply select it, in this case, Base Ubuntu 01, right click, and we'll say Start. And right here, so let's bring this up. It's connecting to it. Now, Although uh, integration services are part of the Linux kernel, you'll notice that um, because I'm going through a remote desktop connection, this mouse is not fully integrated. But normally you wouldn't see that little dot floating around in the mouse if it weren't for a remote desktop connection. I guess it's in a, the integration services are in the Linux kernel, but it doesn't work fully across a remote desktop connection. So in this case, we are going to install Ubuntu. And we've got 4.4 gigabytes is connected to the internet. We're going to download some updates while installing. And we're going to also install any third-party software. Now, the first time I installed Ubuntu into a uh, Microsoft virtual machine was in Virtual PC, and it took 40 hours. Now, you'll love this install because it's basically click and go. And once we've got those, simply hit continue. And we're going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. If you want to create or do your own partitions yourself, uh, you can choose this option. Continue. And install now. And it's going to trundle for a while here. And it's going to pick your time zone. In this case, it's New York. I'm going to simply click Continue. And in my case, English US is a language in the keyboard layout. So we're going to continue. And ask for your name. And we're going to type in the computer's name. Ubuntu, oh, sorry, base Ubuntu 01, pick a username, and I'm going to pick a simple password here, because after all, this is a uh, in my public, and I'm going to select login automatically, though that's not a good choice, but this, this virtual machine is going to be copied, cloned, and every which way, so that's just going to make it a little bit easier. And click Continue. Now, 
it's going to install and it's got some slideshow that you can view when as it's installed you can also go through this slideshow you don't have to wait for it to come through you can view it by yourself we'll just click over here and shows talks a little bit about the or ubuntu software center where you can get additional software um, also comes with some uh, photo imaging uh, manager uh, you know GIMP is probably about the best in uh, Linux open source no cost Ubuntu one cloud you can uh, I think they give you about five gigabytes of uh, storage at the current time um, music rhythm box music players open source then you've got uh, Twitter Facebook Identica browser web they include Firefox you can install another browser such as Chrome if you wish chromium in the last the last slide we have chromium which is the open source similar to Chrome and then you've got uh, your LibreOffice software and you can customize Ubuntu and there are also some uh, aftermarket uh, open source software to tweak uh, how your Ubuntu desktop looks and here we are back at the beginning now we're not going to watch this install and let this go trundle on and when it's fully installed we'll come back once Ubuntu has been installed simply restart it and it says please remove installation media and close the tray if any and then press enter uh, to restart Ubuntu all we have to do is press enter Ubuntu will restart by itself. We don't have to play around with the media. Here we have the Ubuntu screen. That's the installation. After Ubuntu has been restarted, let's uh, update it. In this case, we could go to Update Manager. should pop up here in a second or so. We, we could call it Update Manager. Click on Update Manager. Normally it'll pop up by itself and gives a list of updates. We we'll simply click Install Updates and you're going to need your password. And we're going to authenticate. And we'll come back after. Uh, the update manager has uh, been installed. You notice that's installing a uh, new Linux image 3.2.025 generic PAE because it's a 32 bit system. Once the updates have been restalled, you're going to have to restart. So click on restart now. Once we've restarted, Let's just go grab a terminal, take a look at the modules that have come with the integration modules. Key in terminal, then select terminal. And we're going to take a look at the kernel. In this case, uh, three version 3.2 PAE, which generic PAE, which allows 32-bit operating system to to get more than uh, four, access more than four gigabytes of uh, memory because two to the 30th is uh, about one gigabyte and let's see what modules we got pipe it into grep, grep hv and store sv net 
VSC, utils, and VM bus. So that's what we have here in uh, Ubuntu Desktop running in Hyper-V. The only thing is that it's very difficult here to, uh, or I haven't yet figured out how to change the uh, screenshot. And like I say, don't worry about this mouse integration. That's simply a reflection that it doesn't work that well across remote desktop. It works fine when you're working from the actual machine. Thank you.